What's up YouTube? My name is Ty, financial advisor. Welcome to my channel. Please like the video, please subscribe, and catch me every weekday after market close on the Smarter Gambling Show. So here is IMPP, Imperial Petroleum. This finishes at 44 cents today. That is down 10.2%. And it's gone. So we haven't covered this stock in almost two months. Last time we covered it was when it was gamma squeezing, went all the way to a dollar, and it since pulled back pretty significantly. But today, this did make stock twits top 10. I believe it was number two after SPY had over 4,000 mentions, so once again we're going to analyze it. And there was a reason as to why the stock went down so much today. They did have earnings, so let's check it out. So there's really not too much information about the earnings here. I don't see any EPS. They did report a revenue of $11.3 million. Don't really know if that's good or bad because there's no estimate. But at first glance, it appears to be good because last quarter they only had about $5 million in revenue. So that's a 121.6% jump in revenue from last quarter. But the market doesn't think so. And that's why the stock sold off 10% today. So that's pretty disappointing. But all right, let's go ahead. Let's jump right in here and analyze so first of all this appears to be a cup and handle in the making bottom of the cup being the low of 38 cents and there can be multiple possible tops it can be 97 cents 110 115 or 155 and longer term this is part of an even bigger cup and handle where this has the potential to go all the way back up to 970 the all-time high although i do think the most realistic top would be 97 cents but those are all bullish indicators that is telling us that the stock should come back up to one of those tops to complete the cup and then we have a double gap down. First gap down is back here at 470. So that's a bullish indicator that is telling us that the stock should come back up to 470 to fill that gap. And second gap down was back at 61 cents. So another bullish indicator that is telling us that the stock should come back up to 61 cents to fill this gap. And that one should fill in the short term. The gap at 470 is going to take a while to fill. But eventually in the longer term it should here we did have a triple bottom form here was the first bottom here's the second bottom and a couple days ago the third bottom formed so that was a bullish indicator that was suggesting that the stock was probably due for a breakout and it did in fact break out so the triple bottom was and still is a bullish indicator and then the aftermarket here this is running up to 45.5 cents so if this aftermarket action holds that would be a bullish indicator for tomorrow that is suggesting that tomorrow the stock will run to the upside and here we do have a symmetrical triangle forming right now now this is consolidating between 58.5 cents and 41.5 cents so there's a bit more consolidation to go but this should consolidate somewhere around 50 cents and from there it should break out either way to the upside or the downside so the symmetrical triangle is currently a neutral indicator and if you guys want to follow along the link to the chart is in the description down below so right now this is trading between the sideways channel the rectangle of 48 cents and 40 cents so if this goes to the upside next levels of resistance would be 48 cents 56 cents 66 cents 78 cents 86 cents 90 cents 97 cents 110 115 125 135 145 and then 155 there is resistance above 155 but we're not going to discuss that right now and if this goes to the downside next levels of support would be 40 cents and then the low of 38 cents and below 38 cents would be uncharted territory so right now at the current price 44 cents the channels to the upside and the downside are pretty wide so expect significant price action either way this goes however as the price increases the channels get even wider so expect an even bigger increase in price action as the stock runs more and more to the upside rsi is currently at 46 pretty average there a little bit below average so according to the rsi the current price of 44 cents should be a little bit higher and this did 73 million in volume today which is very significant volume so the sell-off today was confirmed by the volume okay guys just my opinion not financial advice so the earnings actually seem pretty good, at first glance at least. So not really sure why this is selling off so hard today, but that's earnings for you. Anything can happen. The stock can go mooning or tanking. Doesn't really matter what the actual earnings are. And the stock still looks bullish in the short and long terms. Again, we have some strong bullish indicators in the cup and handle, double gap down, triple bottom, and aftermarket action. No bearish indicators. And we have two neutral indicators in the RSI and symmetrical triangle. So therefore, if you want to go long, not financial advice, the current price of 44 cents is a pretty decent entry. Not great, but not terrible. It's an extremely average entry, a little bit above average. So there's nothing too wrong with going long at the current price, 44 cents. Although it may pull back a little bit more in the short term. But it really shouldn't go too much further to the downside here. Looks like we have some very critical support at 40 cents and 38 cents. Going to take a lot of selling pressure to break those. This is already near the all-time low. And again, this should eventually come back up to 740 in the longer term to fill the gap. And from the current price of 44 cents, that would be over 
a 950% upside potential. So huge upside potential here in the longer term. So I would say going long at the current price, 44 cents would be a medium risk, very high reward play. I say medium risk because again, this may keep pulling back in the short term, but really shouldn't pull back too much further. And I say very high reward play because again, this has over a 950% upside potential. So I can't support going long at 44 cents. And if it pulls back, then you can just average down at 40 cents and 38 cents. I don't have any support below 38 cents, but if it does break 38, then you can continue to average down from there. Now, if you want to go short now financial advice, I would not do that and I would not recommend that. Seems a little bit too late to go short here. You should have went short anywhere from the $9 to $1 range. And here at 44 cents, you missed a lot of downside potential and there's really not too much more downside to go. For all the same reasons, I said that going long was a good idea. Going short is a bad idea. Mostly bullish indicators right now, no bearish indicators, a few neutral indicators, 950% upside potential in the longer term. This is near the all-time low, very critical support at 40 and 38 cents. So I would say going short here would be a very high risk medium reward play. Not worth it in my opinion. You can make some money to the downside here, but the reward definitely does not outweigh the risk. Seems like a really bad idea. You're probably going to get burned. If you do want to go short, it would definitely have to be a quick scale. Get in, get your money, get out. So if you want to go short, please do that at your own risk. But honestly, you're probably better off just avoiding this one on the short side. There are definitely way better short plays out there in the market right now. So pretty straightforward, guys. It's been pretty rough the past couple of months for this stock. It squeezed up to almost 10 and pulled back all the way down below a dollar. And today, the market did not like the earnings, although they appeared to be not that bad. So that was pretty disappointing, but overall, the stock still looks pretty bullish in the short and long terms. So if you want to go long, the current price of 44 cents, a decent entry, very average entry. Can't go too wrong here. 950% upside potential in the long term and really shouldn't go too much further to the downside. Got some very critical support there. So I can't support going long at the current price, 44 cents. And if it pulls back, then you can just average down. And if you want to go short, I would not do that. I would not recommend that. You missed a lot of downside already. It's near the all-time low. So you'd be shorting for crumbs and exposing yourself to a lot of upside risk here. Again, 950% upside potential, mostly bullish indicators right now, no bearish indicators, and two neutral indicators. So going short here appears to be a really bad idea. You missed your chance. Please don't do that, guys. If you want to go short, it would have to be for a quick scalp. Get in, get your money, get out. So if you want to go short, please do that at your own risk. But honestly, it would probably be a better idea just to avoid this stock on the short side and move on and find a better play to short. So sorry to everyone who lost money in the stock today and good luck to everyone currently in the stock and to everyone looking to take a position. This is IMPP Imperial Petroleum. Thanks everyone for watching today. I appreciate you guys. Please like the video, please subscribe and catch me every weekday after market close on the Smarter Gambling Show. You apes already know, diamond hands to the moon. I'm Ty. This is Smarter Gambling. See you guys tomorrow. Peace out.